Hey Fox, I had some decent TV station games, but you know me well enough, I can never get to that point where I'm satisfied with my own gameplay. So I want to share it with you, I want to share with you the good stuff, the bad stuff, just guide you through the way of thinking and hopefully it helps you getting better in the game. So early game, I was playing with an M4 by the way, my default set, four, um, and this time I picked up an M4. Usually um, at the very beginning of TV station I'm always looking for additional spawns, so I did. And uh, this, this area I'm at now, this is also always something I'm, I'm kind of checking out. And I had the assumption that there must be a spawn nearby, because bots were still alive here, so I, I thought that nobody was coming from that direction. Um, I was thinking that maybe they ran, ran upstairs, um, but always be cautious if you're playing here and here, as you could see, I saw footsteps, so that was the point where I was absolutely sure that we have players. So I was just, um, you know, preparing for the fight. We knew that there's got one guy in here, he was already dead by the time I got here, but then, there we go, here was a second tier. Uh, or second team Kia, my first Kia. I wasn't really satisfied because I always feel very bad about um, you know, a Kia. Here is the third one, by the way, or second for me, third for the team. I always feel very bad if I have better loadout than my enemy. And that first guy didn't really have good loadout, so and I got injured, um, didn't really expect to. Um, nice loot but this is what it is at least we had some kills already and the thinking was go the thinking was great i mean even if that would have been a t4 player or whatever the thinking was nice i identified you know where the players are so that that's kind of the, the main um takeaway here in the second phase i knew that there's someone inside the manager's office not someone a full team to be honest and then if you listen closely you're gonna hear that uh, i heard somebody uh, being injured which kind of changed the plans you, you're gonna see why but i was trying to you know to, 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 to do something there um like maybe damage them through the wall or basically tell them that i'm here and now this is the point where i you know jump down to the player because i knew that somebody is here and it was such an unfortunate never do such a gunfight because you know, i mean i guess that guy was or supposed to be an extraction camper he got injured and i was like jumping down and um absolutely you know bad decision if that would have been a good player i would have been dead at this point so if you jump down then be cautious because i was jumping down in a way where i fell on something and then i couldn't hit that guy and i was running out of ammunition and then i get very close to that guy and with my m4 i couldn't actually shoot him so this year um i'm trying to move up to the manager's office because we knew that there were players there Here's a random guy. I don't know what he was doing, actually. I think he was AFK, so it's not like a um, you know, super nice kill. But uh, after checking the manager's office, I found out that there's nobody around anymore. So I rotated back. Um, and as you can see, I found that team. So I couldn't hit him. I don't know why, but if I'm picking like this, usually I'm getting an instant headshot. I was just shooting that guy and he didn't die. It's A1 bullets, by the way, in case you ask. I was hiding here next to the, you know, where you can extract. And this guy had no clue that I'm here. So sometimes it's actually okay, or it's actually sometimes good to be quiet. Um, but um, again, I did another mistake because I knew that my teammate is fighting the last guy. I think it was the last guy from the team. And I was rotating. You know, I was trying to rotate from that side. I should have supported him by running directly uh, into this room and maybe I could have saved him because he died. And then basically it was an, an, an easy kill because I jumped inside and then just spray and pray. Um, and and that's, that's, that's pretty much it. And the interesting thing about this video or this game is that in overall, I had six kills, and yes, I'm gonna extract with like 400,000 or something. You can, you can see the Tetris thing here, uh, but still, I don't feel that it was like, like a, a super professional gameplay. I did the right thing. I did the kills. I did the like the, the necessary kills, but I didn't do any like extraordinary stuff. Sometimes I feel like that I should be more pushy, and that's what I'm trying to make 
I mean, that's what I'm trying to highlight in this video. So sometimes it's okay to slow down and just sit there to understand your environment and the sound prints and such. But reviewing my own gameplay, I can say that I'm still not pushy enough. I should have pushed that team in the manager's office while they were inside. Um, also, I should have not rotated behind that that, that room directly um, support my team. So overall, if I had to rate my own gameplay in this specific game, I would say it's like a seven out of 10. So there is still lots of space to improve. But um, anyways, I hope I could show you something that it may be helpful for you. And uh, please let me know if you wanna see these type of commentary uh, videos because I have tons of games like this where I have four gears, five gears, six gears, uh, mainly on TV station nowadays. If you are interested to like, hear my 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 way of thinking that I had during the game, that I'm happy to share it with you. And also let me know if you feel that this is just boring as hell. Anyways, shoot, loot, subscribe. Shady out. Bye.